I started this DIY with a wooden plaque that I purchased at Family Dollar. Next, I attached wooden blocks that I purchased at Dollar Tree to the outer edge of my wooden plaque using Gorilla Hot Glue. I used Gorilla Hot Glue for this project, but I would definitely recommend using another strong adhesive for a more secure hole. Once I was almost done adding my wooden blocks to my plaque, this is what it looked like. I continued to add wooden blocks to my plaque, leaving the back of my plaque open for hanging. And this is what it looked like once I was all done adding my blocks. I also added a wooden block to the back of my plaque. That is what I used to hang my light on the wall. Next, I painted my wooden blocks and my plaque with gold acrylic paint that I purchased at Dollar Tree. If you happen to see this gold acrylic paint at Dollar Tree, I would definitely recommend purchasing it. You can't beat a $1.25 and the metallic finish once it dries is amazing. In a few of my previous videos, I used condiment containers to hold my light, and I will do the same for this one. I attached the top of my condiment container to the bottom side of my light using Gorilla Clear Grip. Next, I cut balloon stands that I purchased at Dollar Tree to various sizes and I attached them to the underside of my wooden blocks.
To further secure my light housing, I also added a small screw to my condiment container lid. I removed the excess glue strings. Next, I attached the hook that I already had to the back of my light using Gorilla Hot Glue. Once I was done with this project, I noticed that my light was a little bit droopy, so I added another wooden block to the top of my wooden plaque. I moved my bracket up and my light sat more flush to the wall. I placed my light inside my cup. And this is what it looked like once I was all done. I really like this piece, but there's a few things that I would change, including using another strong adhesive. If you saw anything in this video that you would change, let me know in the comments below. I really hope you enjoy watching. And if you did, please don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit the notification bell so you don't miss my next DIY.